Hello everyone, I am Professor Ken Vaksore. In this today's session, we are going to study the simple harmonic motion. Simple harmonic motion, which is the one of the method or the motion which are used to draw the cam profile. In this session, we are going to study its mathematical modeling as well as we are going to study its graphical method to draw that cam profile or the displacement diagram. The objective of this session to aware the student about the how to draw that displacement diagram for, by using the simple harmonic motion and after completion of this session with the help of that cam profile student will design the cam for a particular application using the simple harmonic motion uh, follower motion these are the some notations we are going to use stroke length s is the stroke length omega is the angular velocity of the cam theta is the cam angle theta o is the outstroke angle theta d o which is the dwell after outstroke theta r is the return stroke and theta d r which is the dwell after the return stroke this is the diagram for the simple harmonic motion this is the displacement diagram this is the velocity diagram for the 360 degrees of rotation we are just consider the its equation of the equation for the displacement diagram which is of x is equal to one half of stroke length into bracket one minus cos of pi into theta upon the theta o. theta is the cam angle for any particular rotation for this just consider this this part portion only for this particular portion that x is equal to one half s into bracket one minus cos of pi theta upon theta o. that theta this is of total theta o, which is of or stroke angle the angle at which that followers to move in the upward direction this is the dwell which remains its stationary position this is the position at which follow to move in the downward direction and this is again the dwell period now if we differentiate this equation we will get the velocity is equal to 1 upon 2 pi into s into pi upon omega upon theta o into sine of pi theta upon theta o now this is the cosine curve this is the cosine curve, this is the sine curve, which is the sinusoidal curve. V is equal to one half si s pi omega theta o into sine theta upon theta o. If we differentiate this term minus cos of pi theta upon theta o, which is the minus sine pi theta upon theta o into derivative of that theta o, which is the omega pi into omega upon theta o, we just come to the outside, which becomes one half in this equation. Now Again, if we differentiate this equation, you will find the that acceleration equation for the acceleration diagram. Again, I want to find out the maximum velocity. When we get the maximum velocity and when we get the maximum acceleration, by finding out that maximum velocity, when we get the maximum velocity, at what value we will get the maximum velocity? When that maximum value of sine pi theta upon theta over which is the maximum that maximum value which is of the one that means pi theta upon theta o is equal to and when we get that value when that theta is equal to when that theta is equal to pi by 2 that means when if we simplify this equation when theta is equal to theta o by 2 we will get the maximum value again here when theta is equal to 0 for the ex maximum acceleration I think I have it when now in this case for this acceleration when we get the maximum value of uh, acceleration when that theta either theta is equal to 0 or theta is equal to pi when we put theta is equal to 0 we will find the maximum velocity maximum acceleration when we put theta is equal to pi that means theta is equal to theta is equal to theta 1 that means for the end at that outstroke angle we will find the maximum acceleration in this way we can find out the maximum velocity and the maximum acceleration again if we consider this diagram we will find that its velocity which having the smooth curve but when we draw its acceleration diagram we will find at the start it shows some sudden rise in the acceleration and if we draw its accel that again if we differentiate its acceleration diagram we will find this portion becomes the infinity again this portion becomes the infinity that means again when we use this simple harmonic motion that at the start we will find the sudden jerk and because of that jerk that means we can't use this 
simple harmonic motion for the very high speed application this is the limitation of this simple harmonic motion now we will study how to draw it draw that simple harmonic motion displacement diagram for the simple harmonic motion ok again first of all you have to draw one horizontal line that horizontal line is equal to 180 mm you have to take this distance is equal to 180 mm you have to draw one vertical line its length is equal to stroke length next that horizontal line which is the cam angle the vertical line is equal to stroke length now divide this horizontal line into the four parts one part is equal to 60 mm theta o is equal to 60 mm theta d o is equal to 20 mm theta r is equal to 60 mm theta d r is equal to 40 mm irrespective of any angle of theta o theta d o theta r and theta r you have to divide it in this into the this parts like this theta o is equal to 60 degrees 20 de 60 mm 20 mm 60 mm and the 40 mm now you have to draw the vertical lines for this theta o theta d o theta r and the theta d r that vertical line length is equal to stroke length that stroke length will be given to you now divide this theta o and theta r into the six equal parts that one part is equal to 10 mm that's why we have taken this total distance is equal to 60 mm to divide this total distance into the 10 six equal parts no need to divide this theta d o into the equal parts and no need to divide this theta d r into the six equal parts okay now give the numbers one to zero you have to start with the zero you have to end with the 14 this total parts you have to divide into the that parts and that you have to give the numbers now draw the vertical lines through these parts divided parts from one two three four and that height of that total lines are equal to the stroke length now just consider this blue line starting line just consider the midpoint of this now we are interested in the simple harmonic motion now from this midpoint you have to draw one circle whose radius is equal to this length by 2 or the s by 2 divide this circle into the six equal parts semi circle into the six equal parts okay next from this point just draw the horizontal lines give the numbers to them 1 2 3 4 5 6 again through this draw the horizontal lines when one one in this one horizontal line intersect this vertical line at point a this 2 2 at b 3 3 at c 4 4 at d 5 5 at e and 6 6 at f and draw the smooth curve through these points you will find out the you will find the that this displacement diagram for the for the by using the simple harmonic motion next for this well there is no any displacement of the follower that's why this is the horizontal line now again you have to just mark these points this first part now you have to move in the downward direction this first part again you have to give the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 then this part is of again 7 this is of 8 just like this you have to give the reverse marking again 9 9 10 like this up to the 13 okay again you have to mark these points you will get h i j k l m n and this part is of the o in this way you can draw the total displacement diagram by using the simple harmonic motion okay in this way we have started with the that mathematical modeling ends with the simple harmonic motion this is again one of the simple technique to draw the that simple simple harmonic motion the one of the limitation of this simple harmonic motion is that during the jerk that means for the at the high you have observed that displacement uh, velocity and the acceleration diagram that acceleration diagram is having the sudden rise at the start because of this when we differentiate it, it that it becomes the jerk that jerk is at the infinity that means you will find the sudden jerk at the start and the at the end of this curve that's why it has the limitations to use for the high speed application in this way we have completed this session thank you for your patience listening thank you